If your mobile or cellular data stops working on your iPhone or iPad, you may get the sensation that the world is crumbling beneath your feet. Don't worry though, there are lots of fixes for this common problem and we've listed all the big ones for you right here. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier and this is how to fix cellular data not working on iPhone and iPad. Sometimes your cellular data will stop working on your iPhone or iPad. Assuming you are not just in a poor coverage area, there are a few generalized steps that you can take that will fix a lot of cellular data not working bugs. The obvious stuff. If you contact the Genius Bar or your cell carrier regarding your troubles, the first thing you'll hear is, have you tried turning it off and on again? Restarting is Troubleshooting 101 because it works so well, so make sure you give that a shot first. Hold down the power button on your iPhone until slide to power to off slider appears, slide it to the right, then switch on your phone again after it's turned off. Also go to Settings, Cellular, and make sure that your cellular data is actually switched on. Like we said, obvious stuff, but you never know. Switch on data roaming. It may sound counterintuitive, but a lot of people who experienced iPhone data outage have found this to be a reliable solution. Specifically, after certain iOS updates, some devices have been affected by a bug which caused the OS to get confused about when you're roaming. If you think you have this bug, go to Settings, Mobile Data, Mobile Data Options, then switch on data roaming and reboot your device. Obviously this is a workaround to what will hopefully be a temporary bug, but if you do go abroad and still have roaming on, remember to switch it off as otherwise you might face a nasty phone bill. Reset network settings. If cellular data stubbornly refuses to cooperate, we may need to reset the network settings completely. This will wipe out any saved Wi-Fi networks while resetting your cellular data settings to their defaults. This means resetting your network settings can also fix Wi-Fi problems if you're having any of those. Open up the Settings app, scroll down and tap the General Menu option, scroll to the bottom and tap the Reset Menu option, choose Reset Network Settings in the middle of the screen. Enter your iPhone or iPad's passcode to authorise the reset. Tap Reset Network Settings to confirm the reset. Toggle Airplane Mode. If for some reason your iPhone or iPad has gotten confused, Toggling cellular data on and off can reset the connection and solve the problem. Swipe up from the bottom of your screen to open the command center. Press the airplane mode icon. Wait a few moments for the iPhone's radios to turn off. Tap the airplane mode icon again. Wait for the device to reconnect. Check for carrier updates. If you're suffering from a genuine bug, you might find relief in a carrier update. These are issued infrequently, but you'll need to be on the latest version to troubleshoot properly. Open the Settings app, scroll down and tap the General Menu option. Tap the About Menu option. Wait a moment, and if you get a pop-up titled Carrier Settings Update, then click Update. Check for iOS updates. Again, another obvious one. If there's no carrier update, there might be an updated version of iOS. We can check for that in roughly the same place. Open the Settings app, scroll down and tap the General Menu option. Under General, tap Software Update. If an update is available, install the update. Your phone will restart during this process. Perform a backup and factory reset. For the most stubborn problems, you might want to try returning your phone to factory defaults. You'll need to make a backup of your device first to ensure you don't lose any data. First, connect your iPhone or iPad to a computer and create an iTunes backup of your device. Make sure you create an encrypted backup. Only encrypted backups will store health and keychain data. Once the backup is complete, press the Restore Backup button to begin the restoration process. When the restoration completes, check to see if your data works any better. Optionally, you could leave the phone in its like new state, which might have removed an app or service that was messing up your cellular data. If you want to do that, make a backup anyway, you might regret it if you don't. Okay, open the settings app, scroll down, tap the general menu option, scroll to the bottom and tap reset menu option, tap erase all content and settings to completely wipe your iPhone. Enter your passcode to authorise the operation. Tap Erase iPhone to confirm the operation. Conclusion 
If the cellular data isn't working on your iPhone or iPad, you can use the above options to fix it. They're fairly general, but they'll work in nearly any case. Of course, if you have hardware problems, software solutions won't fix it. In that case, you'll need to get the device replaced. OK. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please take a moment to like, subscribe and comment below. That's all for now. See you next time. Thank you.